Mine's uh, gonna start off a little different than everyone else's. Uh, I'd like to thank everyone else for being here as well. Uh, it's a big event for me and Robert. Uh, we met him in the worst way possibly could, and then better way yesterday. So, uh, want to uh, start off from the beginning of the day. Uh, the uh, June 20th, 2012. Uh, I was uh, on a nif different mission um, at a fob, uh, probably eight, ten hours away. Uh, we uh, did supply up there. We always resupplied uh, Fob Gardez. Always a three-day mission, day up, day of rest, and a day back. I uh, was part of the only two RCP units in most of that area of Afghanistan. They had one that ran out of Gardez, but wouldn't usually come down our way. So it was a normal mission. Uh, happened two times a month. Our platoons would usually split them um, for the most part. Um, it's a normal mission. We uh, got all of our trucks loaded up June 20th, 2012. Started normal. Trucks were loaded. Everyone was, everyone was ready to go. Uh, ate our food, fueled up our trucks, and got on the road for our 8 to 16 hour drive back to Salerno. Barely a quarter of the way back going through the KG Pass, which was a hectic area to go through. Uh, between, in between two huge mountains on a little one lane road. Uh, about a quarter of the way back, we got a flat tire on our Buffalo. Uh, if you don't know what Buffalo is, it's a big six-wheeled, six-eight person IED interrogation truck. Uh, the truck could take a blast and drive away most of the time. Well, we were just setting down the KG. We got a flat tire. LC, LT said, let's push through that, get off the switchbacks, find a flat area so we could assess the situation. As soon as we got down, flat area, boom, boom, boom. We were under RPG fire, small arms fire. Everyone did what was trained. We reacted accordingly and finally pushed through the choke point. A few hours later, the end was in sight. Could imagine being back on Salerno, getting some good, good hot food, um, sleeping in my own bed. Uh, being RC, RCP, we we're usually more concerned with the dirt roads, small towns, tight points. Uh, we knew Coast was a big city, and them putting IEDs or ambushing us there was possible, but very unlikely. Most of the time we broke every rule about RCP going through coast. Uh, June 20, 2012, coast became a whole new place for me. Uh, what I thought about coast personally, I'm going to ride through coast, turn into a day I'll never forget. Uh, when we were coming down through coast, we rolled up on another U.S. unit that we had trucks set up um, and a vehicle patrol base set up in a dismount unit. Things quickly changed when our lead truck, TC, got out and within seconds was on the radio asking for all medics, everyone CLS qualified, everyone I was able to dismount, there was a mass guy. From there on, things just got worse. Our convoy eventually pushed through the vehicles and was in the vicinity of the blast site. Back door to my truck opened and all of our gear was getting thrown up into the gunner stand. At that moment, I met Ro Sergeant Robert Barber for the first time. When he got stuffed into my truck on a stretcher, was our, my interpreter, myself, in the back. Four people with gear for three days, all of our MREs, all the gear we always took. Uh, so it was pretty, pretty tight in there. Was conscious and awake most of the time, talking, trying to get up, sit up, and he just wanted some water. <laughs> I didn't know, didn't know what to do. At that time, instinct took over, all training took over at that point. Robert was in my truck, Devin Davis, the other one was in uh, my platoon sergeant's truck. It was a crazy ride through coast. It's only a three to five mile ride back, but it seemed like 45 minutes. I knew he was very hurt. Um, stuff coming from everywhere. We just turned the kid at both legs and decided we needed to get an IV because his veins were dropping. At this point, we're almost back to Salerno. Robert started fading at this point in and out of consciousness, and I'm just yelling in the back of the truck how much farther we're losing him. I've never thought I could hit somebody so hard and not get a response. Once we got back to Salerno, we hit the, hit, hit the gate, hit the bump, and that's when everything was gone. We had an IV run at this point. Wasn't responding to any pressure points. We hit 
tried getting him, wasn't responding to voice, nothing. Going through Salerno about 45, 50 miles an hour in a 10 to 5 mile an hour fob was uh, pretty hectic as well. As soon as we got to the hospital, uh, they were already there. He just got yanked out the back of the truck. Uh, that was that was the last time I saw him until yesterday. Uh, so I just want to let everybody know that things weren't, you know, we didn't have any idea of this. I don't think anybody knew that this was even taking place at the time. So it was a reaction of a lot of good men, good crew, good leadership that we have brought with us today. So thank everybody for coming out and hope you enjoy your house.